before I left for Suriname, I had been going to a speech by Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Sahib about shirk. And uh, he said that there were there was three kinds of shirk and we talked about two of them or I read out extracts about two of them. One was that you directly associate someone else with God, uh, some human being or some statue or whatever it is. The other form of shirk is that you think that the means available to you are what achieve something and it is not God who does these things. And uh, unfortunately then we had a long break and today I want to uh, conclude this by reading the extract about the third form of shit that has us up to talk about. That form, the third form is this, that one should remove one's own being, one, one's own self and the needs of one's own being and to deny them. Many times a person has his own ability or capability in view that I did such a such good deed because of my own ability, my own capability. And that person comes to depend, or depend on his own abilities to a degree that everything that he does he attributes to his own capability. A man truly becomes a Unitarian when he denies his own abilities and believes that everything that happens is through God's help and assistance. But the thing is this, as experience shows, that every man has in his being some part of a sin. Some, some are involved in great things, great uh, sins. Some of average sins and some of very subtle kind of sins, such as greediness, such as being miserly and not sacrificing in Allah's way, and I add whether it's money or your abilities or your uh, uh, time, and some of showing off to others. until they relieve themselves of these things, that man cannot attain the light that he has lost. The truth is that God has given many commandments, but not everyone can actually carry them out. For example, Hajj is a duty of a man, but the person who has the means and then it is safe to get to uh, perform the Hajj. And those members of the family that he leaves behind, he leaves sufficient means for them to be able to survive. When all of these conditions are fulfilled, then he can go to Hajj. Similarly, zakat. Only that person can give zakat who is a person of means. Similarly, there are changes in the mass. For example, if you're on a journey, you can say two rakats instead of four and so on. But one thing in which no change can take place, that is, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasul. And this is the truth. Everything else is simply to complete it. 
Unitarian belief cannot be completed until you obey the commandments about ritual worship. It means that the person who says La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, there is only, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger, is only truly, truthfully declaring that when he in practice applies that to his own being and shows that apart from God there is no other beloved, that apart from God he does not seek anything and he has no other objective. When that condition falls upon a man and in truth he becomes in faith and in practice he becomes someone who shows this in faith and in practice. Then, in God's presence, he is not untruthful, he is truthful. All material things, all material desires have been burnt and a fana has descended upon him and upon his faith. Then he utters, La ilaha. And Muhammad Rasulullah, which is the second part of this, that is as an exemplar. For by looking at an exemplar, everything becomes easy. Prophets of Allah come to humanity as exemplars so that people may follow them. And the Holy Prophet Muhammad he had in him all the attainments and all the excellences of all the prophets that had gone by previously. So to, it is easy to recite La ilaha illallah, but you can see how difficult it is in practice to be a Unitarian. It is easy to deny that I'm not going to worship an idol or a stone or a human being, but to deny material means available to us and our own abilities and desires and objectives and to say that we desire only one thing and that is God and we seek only one thing that is Allah. That is truly believing La ilaha, which is a very hard thing to do.